So here's a demo of Camtasia. I'm using the webcam and a microphone, but if you have existing footage, it works just as easy. So for example, I've got a couple clips here on my desktop that I just downloaded from the web, nothing particular. So you'll be able to drag those in and position them and then run your mouse along here and see the two different clips. If you wanted to edit out a part, you can go to split all and that goes down the list of anything that's playing on the screen at that moment and splits it in half. So you can see it just split that and then I would be able to put like, you know, part of it before, part of it after. You can trim stuff down. Then this program and any other one that um, you're probably going to want is going to have also transitions. So at least being able to do things like fade in and fade out. So if we go into this and we go like, okay, that part should fade in and fade out, that part should fade in and fade out, then what it does is it cross fades between them like that, which is kind of nice for transitions. Um, and then, um, oh, there is audio. So I can see the audio there. And then you're also going to want to be able to uh do something like noise removal so if i drag on noise removal and then be able to play with this here it's just water making noise but if there was like someone speaking giving a presentation and background noise like the video i'm doing right now um you're going to want to be able to cut out heaters air conditioning hisses in the background uh wind the sounds of chickens in this case where i live um, and that makes a really nice quality. So you're going to want to drag in videos. You're going to want to be able to um, edit them by rearranging the pieces, chopping little parts in and out, putting it together. And then finally, you're going to go and you're going to export. And when you go to export, it's going to let you choose some of the different formats. If you know you're going to be uh, putting it on YouTube, for example, the app you're using might have a dedicated YouTube button like that, which is cool. Um, if it does or doesn't have the YouTube button, you can always just export it as a video. And then it gives you some like quality choices and stuff. You could probably just use the defaults for all that. And then you go to YouTube in the browser <clears throat> and hit the upload button. Drag the file in. YouTube takes a lot of different formats. As far as I know, YouTube doesn't let you do any of what I just showed, like editing, removing noise, doing the transitions, none of that. But it's like once you're practiced in it, it takes you a half an hour to edit a five minute video just by choosing the stuff and making the audio sound good and listening to it and then exporting it. It's pretty straightforward, but it does take you some time to learn the program. Um, and it looks like there's some free choices out there, but this one here is a couple hundred bucks. And I think it does a really good job of it being easy to use and the output quality is good. So that's it.